keyboard or to open your laptop so today when we're going to learn how we can replace this keyboard which will require you to open your laptop completely it's going to be a long procedure but it's easy as so, so today we are going to require for us to do we are going to require this screwdriver and insulation iron of this sort of anyone you might have for this one because this model you need you require you to open everything to undo your laptop or in order to access where you can replace this keyboard so first of all you need to remove every screws from your laptop So right now we have access to our motherboard. The next procedure is for us we need to take out this motherboard in order to have access to our keyboard because our keyboard is beneath this motherboard. So the next step for us now is for us to remove this motherboard from our laptop in order for us to have a access to our keyboard. And for precautionary purpose, for situation like this, the first thing you need to remove is your battery in order to avoid any shot on your laptop motherboard. The first thing you should do is take off your battery in order to avoid any shot on your laptop motherboard. We have been able to take out our motherboard right now. The next procedure is for us to take out this silver steel. So this is where we are going to have the use of our soldering iron in order to melt out every this every rubber plastic you're seeing or this black plastic you're seeing here in order to melt it out so that we are we are going to be able to remove this silver metal steel in order for us to get access to our keyboard because our keyboard is beneath this. So we needing a sort of iron for us to do this one. So right now we are done removing our metal steel and you can see right we have access to our keyboard. We have access to our keyboard here. So we still need to remove here we have been able to separate our keyboard from our laptop. So right now we can easily change our keyboard. So after feeding our keyboard back to our laptop, we need this soldering iron to we need to press and hold down while you melt the rubber for it to hold down the keyboard so that it will have this one. If you click it, it will not fall down. But if you click it, it will not fall down. So it's very important for you to first of all hold your keyboard with this soldering iron. When working towards the lab, you ought to be very careful. Follow the precaution so that your soldering iron should not should not touch any of this lab because if it touches any of this lab, you are going to destroy the keyboard. The keyboard will no longer work. So you have to follow the precaution for so your soldering iron not to touch any of this lab.
so after doing that you can see how our keyboard is well and fully laid out that we can have access to play without any issue or inconvenience so after you replace your keyboard you have to replace back your metal steel because you remove your metal steel before having access to the keyboard so it's a procedure that you are mounting back a laptop it's a gradual process you can use the same soldering iron to hold down your metal steel because there are some metal steel that you will see the screwdrivers that you don't need the soldering iron to hold it down but this one we, are, we need soldering iron in order to hold down So before replacing back our motherboard, don't forget to put on this so that your motherboard will not contact with this steel in order to cause any shock. So remember to put this on this. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. 